Hey guys, how's it going? I'm just gonna be working on the Jag today with another little project I've got to get done on it. And that project is the front sunshade. It doesn't close. In fact, uh, when I hit the button to close it, it sounds terrible. So let me do that. The car started up, an accessory, here we go. Making a noise back there. Terrible, terrible noise. And it will stop eventually. So, from what I've read, the sunshade is back, but the car thinks the sunshade is forwards and it's trying to push it back. It's already back, so now it's just uh, hitting the clutch on the motor. So, I've seen a fix on YouTube on how to repair it, but didn't really go into a lot of detail, so I'm going to try to go through it um, and show a little bit more detail on it. Alright, so the first thing I want to try is to pry down this panel here. So I have a little pry tool. There's supposed to be two little clips in it, so let's just see how... Oh! Well, that came down. Alright, so there's the inside. And he said there's a plug right around here that I have to look at. There it is, the white one. Okay, so to get to that, I'm going to have to pull off the airbag signs on both sides. Airbag, airbag. And the bolts for the sunroof. And then I can pull this down. Sun visor mounts are removed and we're ready to pull down the headliner. Don't want to crease it too much. Let's get my finger in behind here, Just pulling it out of the track. Now there's a couple clips above the sunroof. You can just pull down. <laughs> Maybe. All right, so I got the headliner very loose on the driver's side, and I'm just in the passenger side, and there's that weight clip that I can get at now, right there. Alright, so I figured out how to get the clip off. I don't know if you can see. It's there. I'm just going to take my pry bar. And there is a tab right here. You have to push that up. And then the clip comes out. Okay guys. Finally worked the plug out. So now I'm going to plug it back in. Okay, it's plugged in. Let's turn the car on. All right. Press the button, see what happens. Here we go. So the quick fix didn't work. We're gonna have to go in and uh, fix it at the motor. All right, on to the back. All 
All right, guys, so I got the side pillar. Once you get the one main screw out, you can just pull out the whole thing, and then the side mirror pops out. Uh, I just pulled it out just because to see if there's any screws behind it, and there's not. So we're just gonna carry on back down here. Pull it out from the seal. Oh, okay. Didn't need to take that off then. Now I bet you there's some sun. No, I should retract the back shade so I get more room. And uh, we'll try it from there. Hi right, guys, so it's the next day and it is actually a nice bright sunny day. So we're going to continue uh, taking apart the sunroof motor to try to get the front sunshade working. So <clears throat> back for a recap. We got the, all the interior part and we're just working on the motor up here. All right guys, so I put a Torx 25 in the slots here and the bolts were very loose. So I don't know if that was part of my problem or not, but I'm just gonna get them undone and we'll see how it looks with the motor off. Okay guys, so the motor's removed and here is the gearbox that drives the cable system on the front sunshade. So you can see it goes in. Let me see if I can get some light in here for you. Okay, so there's the, the drive system, so it goes in there. And, so, let me see if I can just move the sunshade ahead, since there is no more motor holding it. Okay, we're in the car. Let's see if this comes ahead. It is very stuck still. Not easy. Not easy, guys. Maybe that's most of the problem. I don't know if it's supposed to be easy or not, but... <laughs> it's definitely not. <clears throat> Alright guys, so I got the motor back in. I have it tightened up more than it was from when I loosened it. I don't know if that was a problem or not, but we did it anyways. So... I'm just going to start the car up because the, the battery light's coming on. And now, let's see if this works. Okay, so let's... Alright, I'm just going to put you down here. Point it at the ceiling. Here we go. So I can get it to retract. I just can't get it to stop. I don't know if I had it forwards enough, but I'm gonna take it apart again and try to pull it ahead some more. So I'm, we're probably on the right track. I'm just gonna see if I can fix it. We're gonna do an experiment. I tried running the motor when it was out of the track and I hit the button and it rewound and then it just stopped. So um, the Motor is not waiting for the roof to hit a sensor. It's probably on like a timer or something. So what I want to do is I'm going to hit the button. I'm going to go out and see which way the motor's turning. I put a mark on it. Then I'm going to come back in and hit it again and see if it's turning the other way. So right now we're going to, sorry guys, hit the roof retract. Run to the back. So we can see which way the motor is turning. Then it stops. Now I'm going to hit it again and see if it's turning the same way. Okay.
Guys, I think I got a bigger issue. Um, the front, the rear sunshade, I can hit it halfway back and it starts going reverse. This one, it does not. It only goes one way. So that's why it only retracts. Now, how do you fix that? You guys, gonna try, uh, I'm gonna try one last thing here before I give up and put the car back together. Uh, I'm gonna try to pull up the fuse for the sunroof, which is number 21. I think it's this big green guy. So I'm just gonna pull it out. Ugh. Look at the corrosion on that. Wow. Okay. All right, so I got my uh, fuse and I'm gonna try to clean it up on some scotch bright here. Oh, that's better. So I don't know if that's gonna help, but it's definitely not gonna hurt. Okay, we'll throw this back in. Hey, doggy. Hey, doggy. Hey, doggy. Stay there. Now let's throw this back in. Aww. All right guys, so I got all the, the car all back together and everything went smoothly, but I really want to know what do I need to do to get that uh, sunscreen fixed? Do I have to go to the dealer or do I need to order parts? Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think and thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Maverick and I say goodbye. Bye, Maverick.